kind of strings out guys throughout the minor leagues. You know, if you could take those long bus rides and take a lot of other grind, you know, it shows, you know, who really likes playing the game and who doesn't. He swings and drives one deep to right. If it's fair, we're tied. It is a grand slam. You're expected to perform out on the field, and when you're not doing that, they're looking for the next guy to step in and perform. It's a very competitive industry and business. Everybody at this level wants to be at the next level. Jeff Clement's first home run since the end of June. I don't consider myself special or different for taking the road I did. I think it's just you know, it was the road for me. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I just love playing. I just love playing baseball. It's, it's what I do. It's what I've always wanted to do. And, you know, thankfully, I just stuck around long enough to not take no for an answer. So much uncertainty and volatility of the job where you can be sent down or called up, you know, the next day and you really have no control over it. Take you one step at a time. This is only the beginning, the beginning. Diamond tosses in the next one. Swing and a smash to third. Short hop by Olmedo. He steps on third one. Throws a second. Two bears for the first. It's a triple play. Speaking of triple plays, there's one. It's a 5-4-3 around the horn. Triple play to end the inning. The tradition in Rochester is really rich, and I think that the fans know their baseball, uh, which makes it fun to play in because you know, if somebody gets a bun down or, you know, you execute a certain play the right way, the fans understand it and they get it. So uh, in that sense, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, and, and to be in one of the oldest baseball cities, you know, in America, it's, it's pretty fun to play in. Welcome to Rochester, New York, home of the Red Wings, a triple-A farm team for the Minnesota Twins. For the 2013 season, players ranging from the ages of 22 to 34 call Frontier Field home as they play ball in the highest level before the MLB. Meet Kyle Gibson. He is considered a top prospect in the Twins organization as well as all across Major League Baseball. Being a prospect is somebody who really hasn't done anything. Um, so that's one of the labels that is good at the beginning, but I'm, right now I'm in the, you know, the, the time of my career where I'm trying to get past being a prospect and trying to break through to the major leagues. Um, but, you know, it's definitely an honor to be considered by, you know, you know the people in baseball as, as somebody who's an up-and-coming player that hopefully will have an impact at some point in the major leagues. Not everyone is considered a top prospect in the MLB, let alone the organization, as the competition between players looking to make it to the show is brutal. I would say this, every player in pro ball is a good player. It's just some are better than others, and some of those guys have good years, and you challenge them at the next level, and they're challenged by the competition, which is usually better all around, and your teammates are usually better. And believe it or not, there's great competition in your organization uh, for guys that are playing the same position or trying to advance. These high levels of competition have gotten the better of former third overall draft pick Jeff Clement. Back in 2005, he was fast-tracked through the minor leagues by the Seattle Mariners all the way until he set foot in the batter's box of a MLB stadium. My first uh, at bat in the big leagues was in old Yankee Stadium. Uh, I think it, it, was, uh, it was 2007, I think 2008 was the last year for the old stadium. So. Uh, to step step foot on the, the field where you knew Babe Ruth and uh, Mickey Mantle played baseball was was really neat and for that to be my first major league experience uh, I couldn't ask for anything more. Clement is now a 30 year old player who is no longer considered a prospect but as he explains expectations set upon him by the experts in baseball never once hindered his career. Expectations and, and pressure like I said are, are what you put on yourself and uh, you know, some, some people really succeed with that, some people uh, don't, and I don't think it had a, an effect on me one way or the other. I think uh, it might have changed my path where they, they uh, made me move through the system faster than maybe they would have if I wasn't a high pick, but uh, I, was, I was happy about it at the time. I mean, you don't want to be spending years and years at the low levels of the minor leagues. You want to move up as quick as you can, and I was able to do that. Starting lineups, one dollar. 
fans scouring through programs quickly realized Chris Colabello was the opposite of a high pick. He was left sitting undrafted altogether after graduating Assumption College in 2005. Instead of giving up his dreams of becoming a big leaguer, Colabello took the unconventional route, beginning his professional career in the little-known independent Can-Am League. A lot of things about indie ball that people don't really know and you know you kind of you have to become like a, a pro right away I think it, you're playing with guys from you know double AA, A triple A guys that play the big leagues versus you know going through the lower levels of the minors so I think you kind of get acclimated to how things are done at upper levels and the other thing is too like you have to learn how to how to compete right away because it's not like you know you're sitting there and they're trying to develop you and giving you all the time in the world so it's uh it's definitely it was definitely a great learning experience i think uh, i wouldn't be here without it not only has he made it in the minor leagues but persistence has finally paid off for chris colabello as he got his first taste of big league action this past season everybody says their dreams to get to the majors i think that's you know cutting yourself short a little bit because i think the dream should be to stay in the major leagues Staying in the show is exactly what Garrett Jones has been able to do for the past couple of seasons. This former Red Wings fan favorite reminisces on where his baseball journey has taken him. It was surreal. I mean, it was, uh, you know, I got called up and, uh, and with the twins a little bit up and down, didn't get to stick, and then uh, um, just got another opportunity with the Pirates and just wanted to make the most of it, enjoy myself and, and, and play my ass off. and. Uh, you know, and I just enjoyed every minute of it. Never took anything for granted, uh, you know, and knew it could be taken away from me any time and just, just went uh, and, and played like every game was my last game. His last game in Rochester was one for the ages, as the end of his minor league career couldn't have ended any better. I think just my last at bat as a Red Wing, um, you know, came with a three-run walk-off home run. And that was my last at bat, you know, forever there. So it, uh, you know, I think that, that just sticks in my mind because that was the last thing. And, uh, you know, it was, just, it was just special to kind of go out, you know, had a, had a good career there and, um, you know, met a lot of great people and enjoy my time there and just kind of go out with a bang. There he goes. And the ball ripped to right field. Fair ball into the corner. Escobar rounding second. He's rounding third. He's being waved home. Here comes the throw, the slide. He's safe. Red Wings win. Red Wings win on Clement's game-winning RBI double. In just his first season for the Wings, Jeff Clement certainly has had his fair share of spectacular moments. He isn't satisfied with his performance in the AAA level. Instead, he has an even greater goal in mind. Contribute to a Major League Baseball team. Obviously, the goal for everybody is to win a World Series and, uh, and be productive and stay in the big leagues. And so that's uh, obviously still a goal of mine. But as Wings manager Gene Glenn explains, things don't always work out the way you might want them in professional baseball. You have players in their mid-30s that are still waiting for that call back to the big leagues or their first call. Sometimes it doesn't work out for some and then other times you wonder how it worked out for some uh, you know, of the other players. Even though his chances of getting promoted get slimmer by the day, Jeff Clement refuses to give up on his dreams. Instead, he's putting his nose to the grindstone and working even harder. Well, you can control how much you prepare, continuing to try to get better, um, playing the game hard, playing the game the right way, and, and enjoying yourself. Because if you're not doing those three things, then you're not gonna give yourself much of a chance at success. But for Kyle Gibson, his future looks bright as he's dying to make his first start in the MLB. I mean, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to be nervous. I'm going to go out there and, uh, you know, probably just have to take a couple deep breaths and look around and, and realize what's going on and, you know, hopefully settle in quick and have a good outing. This game is built around failure. 
And if you're always worrying about the negatives and you're not focusing on the positives and having fun, it's going to drive you crazy. And I think that's probably the biggest and the hardest thing to do. For me, it was just step one. I, well, maybe it was a middle step in the process, but uh, you know, there's still a lot of work left to do. When I'm done playing, just know that I gave the game everything I had to give. I played as hard as I could and uh, I, I carried myself well uh, off the field uh, and, and in times good and bad, I want to I want to remain steady and and just be a positive influence on everybody I come across. Guy that played hard, played hard all the time, uh, loved playing the game, and uh, and just um, you know had some power, hit some home runs, helped the team win, and um, you know was a good overall guy. Take my world from me